Welcome back to our restaurant project. In this episode, we're going to continue to work on the user interface. In the last episode, we allowed the user to pr either print the full menu or um, a section of the menu, which we're going to finish now. So we gave them a printout, a choice to choose between appetizers, noodles, main dishes, and beverages. And we're scanning in their answer. And now what we need to do is to check um, what they put in. So we're going to use another while loop and say check for menu, check for answer again. And we're going to say while answer dot equals ignore case. Then we'll type in each of these choices. So we have appetizers or, um, oh, and it has to be section. So let's change this to just SEC to shorten. And then this has to be SEC. So SEC equals ignore case or SEC dot equals noodles or sec dot equals um, main dishes or sec dot equals beverages. parentheses there and some quotes and then after I do my choices I'm going to check them noodles main dishes and beverages noodles main dishes and beverages and then I need to close the parentheses again now and then do an open curly brace and a close curly brace to finish my while loop now if I want to check for um, any other answer, I can s use the logical not again and put these choices in parentheses so that if they type in anything but these four choices, appetizers, noodles, main dishes, and beverages, um, it'll th we can print them out a message that says invalid input. So then inside of our loop, We're going to type in system dot out dot print ln invalid input. Please enter again. And then we'll take SEC our variable SEC and use reader.next dot to lowercase to get their answer. And we'll all right, and then we need to check like above. We'll need to check which choice they selected. So we'll say if sec dot equals appetizers then we want to system dot out dot print ln menu dot get all appetizers And then we'll say else if I'm missing a curly brace. Else if sec dot equals noodles. So 
System dot out dot print ln menu dot get all noodles. And these choice these methods are coming from our menu class. So let's go in here and check our menu class. And if you it's been a while since you saw this video, we have methods in here for get all appetizers which is a loop that walks through the appetizer array and um, puts all the choices into a variable called menu and then prints them out for us. And it does so by adding an A, an N, um, or an M in front of it to show you whether it's an appetizer, a noodle, or a main dish. And then it adds um, a number we use I plus one because the first uh, item in the array is at position zero and so we want our choices to read A1 or A2 or A3 and we'll just skip A0. We use the two string method of our item class. The reason it says A in front of it is because we created an A variable for our appetizers and the reason I did A it was for appetizer. And then when I do it for noodles you can see I could do A, but I did, you know, another way to do this would be to do N and then just use N again um, for noodles. And then, you know, a better way then here would be to use M and M. It's more descriptive that way. The variable matches the category. Now this might throw us some errors, but we can fix that. D for drinks then. Or you could do B for be B for beverages. You just have to remember which one is the correct one. Let's compile and make sure we don't have too many mistakes. All right, let's see, we have an error here. Um, it doesn't like sec while well, SEC, but there's my definition. Cannot find symbol. OK, I must. I'll mess up the video for a second. I'll look for the answer and I'll come back. All right, the reason we were getting an error is because our definition of sec was in this conditional. So it seemed to fix it if we move it outside of the conditional. And we will just put it above the while loop right here. And then we compile. And we seem to be fine. And so we'll continue in our next video. See you next time.